Hey, so this is going to be the Chris Jericho DVD review of the uh, matches, the match listing. Uh, for those that don't know, I already did a review of the documentary. It, you know, I, and I would say that the documentary is by far the selling point for this uh, DVD set. You know, the matches, uh, honestly, these are not, uh, you know, Chris Jericho's best matches in my opinion, uh, especially the WWE stuff. I, I really think there's a lot better stuff out there that, that they could have put on the set. Uh, you know, I would say Benoit was probably his best opponent. You know, the series of matches with Benoit were all classic. The ladder match, the SummerSlam match, uh, you know, all those matches were totally, you know, shut off of the set for obvious reasons. And also that great tag match, Jericho and Benoit versus Triple H and Austin. That that has never made it onto a DVD yet, which is an amazing tag match. And then, you know, probably argue, you could argue that Jericho's greatest match of all time was with uh, Triple H, the fully loaded last man standing match. I love that match, but... Uh, Triple H took a vicious chair shot and he was actually bleeding like crazy so maybe because of the blood maybe that's the reason they didn't want to put it on the set and uh, the matches with Rob Van Dam I mean there's so much stuff that they left off but you know um, you know, hopefully in the future they can make another Jericho DVD they can make, they can make a DVD with uh, you know they can fill it up with highlight reels from 2003 you know personally for me I think Jericho's uh, stuff from 2003 on the mic that was his best stuff um yeah, so uh, yeah, so let's get right down to it. Uh, the first match on the set was uh, Jericho versus Lance Storm. This was from uh, Calgary. This is Jericho's first match, I believe. Um, you know, I, I mean, I'm not going to rate this match, but uh, you know, for for you know, Lance Storm Jericho's first match, I thought they looked really, really good. There's actually alternate commentary with uh, uh, Jericho and Matt Stryker. So uh, from there, we get the Thrill Seekers versus the Infernos. Now, uh, Jericho and Lance Storm were actually part of a tag team. Uh, called the Thrill Seekers and Smoky Mountain Wrestling. This is just pretty much a squash. I'm not even sure where they put it on here. Uh, so from there, we get Chris Jericho versus Ultimo Dragon. This is from Japan, from the War Promotion. Uh, you know, you get alternate commentary with Jericho and Matt Stryker once again. And, uh, yeah, this is great. You know, this is kind of the match that put Jericho on the spot. Uh, you know, pretty much got him a job in ECW, which eventually led to the job in WCW. So Mick Foley was actually in the uh, audience, actually recommended him to Paul Heyman. And yeah, this is a great match. Very, very athletic match. A lot of great action. Jericho pulled off some sick moves here. Uh, just nonstop action. They, I mean, what can I say? Just a lot of high-flying maneuvers in this match. Uh, flowed really nicely. Some insane stuff going on here. Definitely live up to expectations. Four stars without a doubt. So, uh, so from there we get the ECW match. Jericho versus Cactus Jack. Uh, from 1996, uh, this is good. You know, Foley stepped up to the plate and you know kept up with Jericho. Uh, once again, a very very fast paced match, very hard hitting. Uh, you know, Foley took some uh, vicious bumps in this match. It had a pretty hot crowd, so uh, probably give it like three and a half stars. That was surprisingly this was a little bit better than I expected. So Jericho and Foley, uh, you know, this is the one match that they've had, which you, and and it was a good match. So uh, definitely check it out. So next up we have. Uh, Jericho versus Eddie Guerrero from Fall Brawl from uh, WCW in September of 1997. They actually had uh, war games later on on this pay-per-view, so they actually wrestled with uh, two rings. But yeah, I mean, Jericho and Eddie never really had a lot of uh, matches. I mean, uh, this is pretty pretty much one of the rare matches that they've had. And uh, I mean, it, it was solid. Jericho was the babyface. Eddie was the heel. Uh, kind of slow pace. Uh, some of the fans didn't give a shit about it, but the match progressed. It was a nice, hard-hitting, athletic match. Uh, pretty good action, you know, uh, Eddie actually won the match with the Frog Splash. Uh, probably three and a half stars, good stuff there. Alright, so next up we get Hooverton Carrera versus Jericho. This is from uh, WCW Super Brawl 8. This is from 1998. This is actually uh, a title versus mask match. This is actually where Hooverton Carrera lost his match. Him and Jericho had a, a pretty decent match. Started off very, very slow. Uh, they actually restarted the match because Jericho had his foot on the rope. A pr pretty good action towards the end. I mean, not amazing, but... Uh, you know, I, I just felt like there there was so much better stuff that they could have been put on here from WCW. I was very, very disappointed with the WCW stuff. Uh, and then from there, we get Jericho versus Dean Malenko. I, I was expecting this to be great, but it was a little bit too short. Uh, while it lasted, it was very, very good. It had a hot crowd. Jericho hit a beautiful line. So uh, Dean Malenko did the uh, Cloverleaf, the Texas Cloverleaf, which came off really well. But, uh, you know, Jericho took out uh, Brass Knuckles, and then Dean Malenko countered it, picked up the Brass Knuckles, and then got disqualified. So, uh, it, very, very short. It was, it was a match on Nitro. So, uh, so from there, we get the uh, WWF debut. Jericho interrupts The Rock on Raw. I mean, uh, the Millennium Countdown thing. Uh, just epic, man. This is, this is without a doubt, the best entrance in WWF history. It was just very, very well done, like I said. 
and uh, very very entertaining at the same time so uh so from there we go to uh jericho versus kurt angle this is from no way out 2000 uh this is for the uh intercontinental championship this is where kurt angle actually won the uh ic title and he was a european champion at the same time so when angle won the belt he he proclaimed himself the euro continental champion but yeah i mean this is kind of uh i don't know something about this i just don't like china was actually in jericho's corner and i just didn't uh it felt kind of corny to me uh angle was so hated at the time though he was like this clean cut bit clean cut heel uh you know all american you know goody two shoes that type of persona he hit a beautiful angle slam in this match though uh it, it was it was good but uh you know a little bit too short i mean there's the jericho and angle had better matches than this that the match from uh rebellion 2001 in the uk for the wcw title that was great that was that out the best jericho angle match it's so underrated i just i wish they had put it on here so it could get more love uh so next up we had jericho versus triple h from raw uh you know one of the best uh television matches in uh raw history i mean a super hot crowd it was this nice short tv match uh you know triple h was on top of his game as a heel i mean they just they just had an awesome match here they uh jericho was insulting stephanie before the match but brought a lot of uh you know heat to this match and uh you know earl hebner actually screwed triple h jericho hit the line saw it was a fast count uh crowd exploded when jericho won the belt but uh eventually they reversed the, the uh, decision triple h got earl hebner to reverse the uh, decision and then they fired Earl hebner after the match so yeah just one of the best moments in raw history right there i thought that was great next up we had Jer chris jericho versus the rock uh for the wcw title this is from no mercy 2001 this is awesome you know this is one of the best matches of 2001 this is when jericho this is jericho's first world championship you know uh, you know, Rock was a WCW champion. Uh, Stephanie actually interfered and cost the Rock the match by accident. Uh, she was actually trying to screw Jericho, but it just backfired on her. But yeah, the actual match is great. There's some really awesome stuff. Uh, Jericho countered the uh, people's elbow into the walls of Jericho. Crowd just exploded for that. I mean, great back and forth action. A nice athletic match. Rock actually uh, did the rock bottom to Jericho through the table. I mean, this is great stuff. You know, probably any other year, this could have been the match of the year for. Uh, in the WWE, but 2001 was such a loaded year. I probably put this like fifth or sixth on the uh, match of the year ballot. So, uh, right next up, we have the undisputed championship match from Vengeance 2001. We get Jericho versus Stone Cold Steve Austin. Uh, yeah, you know Jericho had just defeated The Rock uh, to win the WC. I'm, I'm sorry, to win the World Championship. So he was facing Austin for the WWF title to unify the belts. I mean, this this is okay. You get, give Jericho credit. He ran the ropes pretty hard. You know, for him to wrestle two matches in a row, he really uh, looked sharp out there. Him and him and Austin did some pretty good stuff. Uh, some nice counters on the uh, announce table. Uh, but you know, I I just didn't like the interference though. They actually had Booker T come out and, and hit Austin with the WWF title, and uh, you know the crowd was kind of dead during the match. Jericho hit Austin with the stunner. The crowd didn't give a shit. The, the Triple H was actually advertised to come back at the show, and he didn't come back. So a lot of the fans were kind of like wondering where the fuck is Triple H. So uh, that was going on, and uh, I, I just didn't like the way Jericho won it. You know, considering this is your undisputed championship, first ever undisputed champion in the WWF, I just thought this could have been a lot, been done a lot better. You know, I, Jer, it, you really didn't feel like Jericho became a star after the match. You really didn't feel like he deserved it uh, because he, uh, you know, Austin got screwed. So. But it is what it is. You know, Jer like I said in the other video, Jericho was in the midst of turning heel, so it wouldn't have made sense for Jericho to win a match with the Lion Salt or make Austin tap out. So I, I, I understand it, but uh, I just thought it was kind of poorly executed. All right, so next up we have uh, Jericho versus Hulk Hogan on SmackDown. Ugh. Uh, I, I understand they want to put a Hogan match on it, but this, this wasn't much of a match. I mean, uh, it, it was entertaining for what it was. I mean, Jericho did the best to... Uh, you know, he, him and Hogan worked a pretty entertaining match. I, I just think that, uh, you know, there's other stuff that they could have put, put on here instead of it. Uh, so next will be a Jericho versus Michaels from WrestleMania. Awesome match. Matt, best match on the set with that. They have alternate commentary as well, which you, you should definitely check out. Jericho's very, very high on the match. Uh, considers it his uh, best, uh, his greatest match. So I think this is a lot right there. So next will be have Jericho versus Cena. The You Are Fired match for the WWE Championship. I mean, a good TV match. Not as good as their SummerSlam 2005 match, but they followed up with a pretty strong television match. Uh, you know, it, it was a back-and-forth matchup. You know, Jericho uh, looked like he was going to make Cena tap out at one point, but, uh, you know, Bischoff got involved, and then Bischoff uh, 
after Jericho lost the match, Bischoff fired Jericho on the spot. And uh, they carried Jericho away into the backstage area. Jericho was crying and moaning and, and pleading uh, not to lose his job. So it was pretty entertaining stuff. So uh, from there, they, they showed the whole, uh, you know, Save Us Y2J comeback thing when uh, Jericho came back and interrupted Randy Orton. I don't know. I, I just didn't think the comeback was done very well. Uh, I don't know. I, I like the Jericho Orton feud. I, I thought it was actually okay, but I, I just think his uh, his comeback could have been done a little bit better. Uh, just his look was just kind of uh, just the way he came out with this attire. I just thought it was kind of cheesy. But uh, yeah, so from there we get Jericho versus uh, Jeff Hardy for the IC title on Raw. This is a good television match. Really, really good stuff. I think Jeff Hardy actually got suspended, so they had to take the uh, IC title off of him. So him and Jericho just had this. Nice little awesome television match. Three and a half stars. Really, really good stuff. A nice athletic match. Jericho actually won the ICU title with a uh, code breaker. So from there, we get Jericho versus Shawn Michaels. The No Mercy ladder match. Awesome match. You know, this is pretty much the culmination of that whole Jericho versus Michaels feud. Uh, some vicious bumps in this match. Good storytelling. I mean, it, it, a great storytelling match for a ladder match. It just wasn't spots. Everything made sense. Uh, Sean did some pretty innovative things in the match as well. So uh, this is actually my match of the year, WWE match of the year for 2008. I thought it was that good. Four and a half stars. Uh, next, we get an awesome Jericho versus Rey Mysterio match from Extreme Rules. Uh, the match from the Bash is probably the best match from that series, but I, I still thought this was awesome. This was a no, no holds barred match, actually. This is when Jericho ripped off the mask and, uh, you know, did a small package to Jericho or just rolled uh, Mysterio up and, and pinned him. To win the uh, IC title, uh, so next will be a Jericho versus Undertaker from SmackDown. They're kind of disappointing. I, I I don't think Jericho and Undertaker have very good chemistry. Uh, however, I, I really think these guys should have had a chance to main event a pay per view. Uh, you know, possibly Survivor Series or Royal, Royal Rumble. Uh, you know, very very disappointing that the WWE did not capitalize on this feud. This could have been a big money making feud. This could have been a WrestleMania match, but you know, the, the match wasn't that great. I probably only give it three stars. So from there we get Jericho versus Edge from WrestleMania. <laughs> you know, when I did my WrestleMania review, I was uh, actually thought this was better than Batista and Cena. I, I, I still do. I still do think it is. Uh, and I, I think Jericho did a great job of, uh, you know, carrying Edge. It's obvious that Edge is just not the same since he's come back from that Achilles uh, injury. It's just a tough injury to come back from. And uh, he just hasn't been the same. It's very, very stale. But, you know, I think Jericho deserves a lot of credit for, uh, you know, carrying Edge through the match. And this is a hell of a performance. They did some beautiful things with uh, the spear. Uh, Jericho with the code breaker to counter the spear and then the uh, the small package to counter the spear. I just th think there was a lot of great stuff in this match, even though the crowd was kind of dead. It, it didn't feel like a WrestleMania title match, but yeah, so uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, everyone check out the documentary. The documentary is by far the reason to pick up the DVD, but you know, there's also some great matches on here as well. I, I'm, I'm just, my point is that uh, it, it, it just could have been a lot better, but uh there's still some really, really good to great matches on this set. So, uh, but yeah, the documentary is phenomenal. So everyone, uh, check it out. All right, guys, thanks for watching.